What's up guys, Fishy15 here. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to get an untethered jailbreak for your iOS device running 4.3.1 firmware. So we're going to be using Red Snow um, 9.6 RC12 uh, I believe. Yes, we'll be using RC12 and this jailbreak will jailbreak anything pretty much except the iPad 2. So the iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4 GSM, the iPod Touch 3rd generation and the 4th generation, the iPad 1 and the Apple TV 2G. So you can just get this, um, the red snow for your Mac right here and your Windows right here. These links will be in the description as well. So I'm just on the iPhone Dev Team blog. You can find everything you need to know right here. So after you download that, you'll need to download the 4.3.1 firmware for your device. I'll be jailbreaking my iPod Touch 4th generation right here. And this is on 4.3.1, so you need to get that firmware. And you'll need to open up red snow, first of all. So I'll show you guys, I am running 4.3.1. I'm just going to go general about, right here you can see 4.3.1. So now that you guys see that, you can just go browse, and you can browse for your iPod 4, 4.3.1, or whatever your firmware is for your IPSW. So right here, I'll just need to process your firmware, and pretty much find that, and make sure you're actually running that firmware. And it says the IPSW was successfully identified. So next, you can just hit the next step. This will patch your kernel and all this good stuff. Getting it ready for the jailbreak. And right here, all you need to do is pretty much install Cydia. So just check that. You can uncheck everything else if you want. Unless you know what you're doing down here. If you want like boot animations, you can have that. And... All that stuff. I don't think I'm going to do that right now. You can enable battery percentage, so you can have a battery with the numbers up by your battery, but I don't need to do that either. I'll just install Cydia for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and hit next, and this is just basically telling you that you need to be turned off and plugged in. So first off, if it's not off, you need to plug in the device first. As you can see, mine is plugged in, and we'll need to power off our device. So you can just go ahead and hold the power button, slide to power off. This next step is going to be a little bit tricky if you guys are new jailbreakers, then this is just steps just going to um, allow you to put your device in DFU mode and actually jailbreak the device. So you're going to need to hold the power button for like 3 seconds and then hold the home button and release the power button and continue holding the home button. It's really simple actually, but it's kind of confusing if you're a first timer. So first off, we're just going to go hit next, hold the power button for 3 seconds. Without releasing the power button, continue holding that and push the home button for 10. Release the power button, but do not release the home button. And it is jailbreaking. And it's going to be using the Lime Rain exploit, which will tell you right there on the screen. It's uploading the first stage. You can go ahead and release the home button whenever now. And then all you need to do is just sit back, relax, and the program will do the rest for you and now it's just waiting for the reboot and should just do all this stuff you can watch it if you want it's pretty cool and now it is done and the rest of the uh, process will take uh, part on your device so you don't even need redstone anymore you can go ahead and hit finish right here and this is it. You can just watch it on your device, and you should be jailbroken after this. If you have any issues with like the city icon, just go ahead, reboot your device after it's done being jailbroken. Um, respring a couple times, and all these bugs should go away. If you guys have any questions, be sure to follow me on Twitter at fishy15, and it's basically it. I'll come back to you guys after this is done. Alright guys, now your device should be booting up here. You'll get the Apple logo. After it's booted up, you can just go ahead and slide to unlock, and you should have Cydia. And it will be the regular icon. Well, it should be right there. So you can go ahead and tap on that, and it'll prepare the file systems, and Cydia will exit when complete. 
and now you guys are jailbroken. So if this video helped you, be sure to give a thumbs up right down there. Be sure to subscribe up there. Follow me on Twitter if you guys have any questions. Comment below if you comments, questions, concerns, all that good stuff. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Peace.